guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a Panda Palette update. I know I'm almost a week late to this update and I reapply my bl blush and um, too much? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> this is the Panda Palette for 2020 that I am doing with the Pantastic Ladies on Facebook and this Panda Palette theme is created by Erin and Erin is amazing and I had the honor of meeting her last summer in England. She is amazing and she is so supportive that you wouldn't even believe it. She created this Pang Solitaire. It is basically that you are working on a single duo, trio, quad, etc. And you have to finish from the single and up, like one, two, three, four, five. I think you get what I mean. There will be more info about the project down below. It started on January 1st and it is going all the way until the end of 2020. I chose a single, a duo, a trio and a quad. So let me show you where I was last update. This is where I am now. So as you can see there's quite a bit of progress in some of the shadows. I realized like in the middle of January that I didn't swatch my shadows in my intro. I normally do that, but because these are so neutral, it didn't make sense at all. My single is the Benefit cream thing right here and it is called Call Me Buff. As you can see from the last picture, the pan has expanded quite a bit and there's not that much on the sides. It's not that high, you know. Uh, not that full. So I think I can have that done by the next update or the one after. Yeah, I still get Good amount of product on my brush. So I don't think I'm going to repress it yet Maybe by next update it will be repressed. I don't know. Then my duo is the rest of the benefit uh, eyeshadow singles that I have from a holiday palette. The first one is called Nude Swings and this is called Chop It Off. Yes. I have expanded the pan a little bit about for the nude rose gold shade and I have started make making a small 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 dip in this Toby color. I have the two on my eyelid right now and then the trio in my crease with another shade from another palette that I'm panning. <laughs> it has been my go-to look. It works <laughs> and I'm happy about it. Can I finish the duo before the trio? I think so, but it will take so long. <laughs> oh my god, it, they don't budge that much. On the new shade I have focused my brush right here. So that might be where you can see the most progress, at least when I look at it. <laughs> And then for my trio, it is three Catrice singles. And the first one is called mm, On the Top of the Mad Everest, which is the one with the most progress. When I departed these from the compacts, this cracked a little bit, and then I had it in a project where I had pants, so that is why there is so much pen now because it moved faster. That is my excuse, at least. <laughs> but yeah. I am using these every single day and yeah, well, at least five days a week. <laughs> the first of these three is definitely this one that is going to be done. Oh my god, I'm going, it's going to take forever because these are so hardly pressed and you, it's not that pigmented, but they are hardly pressed. Oh, you don't need a lot. <laughs> I don't need a lot. Transition, crease and outer corner and sometimes I mix these. In the outer corner. You can see somewhere on the letters in the middle, at least on this shade right here, and that is called Starlight Espresso. And the more cool toned grey thing is called Game of Stones. This is my single duo and trio. Trio. And the last thing I have is my chord. This is going to take me a while because there's kind of the same shades in this one and they are a little bit darker than the other ones, so it is going to take me a while. Um, you can maybe see somewhere in the number one shade, here in the middle, maybe, there. I've used it on my brow bone and I tried to use 
two and three on my lower lash line as much as I can. That is basically my progress for this small cord. It's not going very fast. I just have a hard time combining these. It sounds silly, but I have thought about taking this out, taking a break, um, because when I finish the drill, the single duo and drill, I am going to work on this anyway, but I wanted to include it because it was darker and I knew it would take me longest. Um, it does make sense in my head. I'm a little bit all over the place about this project right now. I do love working on these. I need to get my act together and just embrace and love the cool tones. Uh, because I don't really do that. <laughs> I can make them work. And I do think this look is pretty and I do enjoy wearing it. I do prefer my warm tone shadows though. <laughs> but at some point I need to get through these as well. And this year is the year. It is perfect. That is everything for this update. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did give it a like, subscribe down below if you're new here. Check out the other ladies in this collab and Erin of course. She does a lot of videos and she is so cool. You will love her just as much as I do. I hope you guys enjoyed and until my next one, please take care.